been revealed that it could cost taxpayers in Essex more than £3 million to evict hundreds of travellers from an illegal site near Basildon. While half of the residents on Dale Farm at Craze Hill live there legally, the other half haven't got planning permission and now face eviction. Here's Emma Baker. A private site that sparked a very public debate. Dale Farm at Craze Hill is one of the largest traveller sites in Europe, but it could also end up being one of the most expensive. Earlier this year, Basildon Council won the right to evict travellers living illegally here and on a nearby site at Hofields in Wickford. But according to reports, it could cost the taxpayer as much as three and a half million pounds to do so. Something which the travellers say is a scandal. Terrible waste of public money. What we would like to see is that that amount of money, three or four million pounds, being spent on a final solution, not a final solution of driving our families from Basildon, but a solution where they have somewhere to go to, another place to live, and that could easily be done for four million pounds. Travellers have been living on this site in Craze Hill for around 30 years. Now, around 50 of the plots are legal. They were built with planning permission. But around seven or eight years ago, a further 50 were built without planning permission. And it's the people living there that the council say they must evict. Now, that is around 90 families, which could be up to three or 400 people. The people living here illegally say it's their home. They own the land and they have nowhere else to go. I think it's just ridiculous to spend that kind of money to ruin our lives and put us out on the side of the road with nowhere to go. But many who live near the site feel the council should go ahead with eviction, whatever the price. We can't, we can't do, uh, build illegally here. I wanted to put an extension on my roof there, but they wouldn't allow it. So as far as you're concerned, if they have to spend that kind of amount of money, three and a half million, then you think that's what they oh, should... Yeah. yeah, definitely should be paid. Definitely. No one from the council was available for interview today. A spokesperson told Anglia News they couldn't confirm the exact cost of eviction, but they did admit it would run into the millions. They're still hoping to avoid direct action by persuading the travellers to leave the site peacefully. But the travellers say they will fight this battle to the end. Emma Baker, Anglia News. Crazy.